A family thought that their prayers were answered when they found a treatment center for their teenage daughter. But now they're holding that same center accountable after their daughter died of a reported Benadryl overdose. News Channel 5's Erin Cantrell spoke to the mother of 15 year old Raiden Toms Moonen today. And Erin, obviously she is grieving, but she also has a lot of questions. Yeah, Carrie and Rory, you know, she sent her daughter to Oaks Plains Academy in Montgomery County. It's about 4,000 miles from the family's home in Alaska. They sent her there because because the center promised to keep Raiden safe. The mother tells me she wants to know how her daughter and another teenager managed to break into the nurse's station, steal medication and overdose. She was a very sweet, you know, beautiful young lady, um, just really kind, very caring, very compassionate, um, you know, really smart and you know, I was really excited to see what kind of young lady she turned into. Margaret Moonen is missing her 15 year old daughter, Raiden Toms Moonen. She overdosed and passed away at the end of November while she was under the care of Oak Plains Academy. Margaret says Raiden was sent to Oak Plains Academy after she tried to take her own life and was unsuccessful about four months ago. They had her in just the one room, um, 24 hour supervision. Before the family decided to send Raiden over 4,000 miles away from Alaska, they tried to place her into another facility. She kept running into one problem. They're full. She had an interview. They were even setting up the plane tickets. Like, she was ready to go. She got ready. Like, she did her hair. She got her clothes, you know. She was ready to fly out of there that night or the next day. Um... And then they call and say, oh, we can't take her because of the medication she's on. You know, she was so upset. Margaret doesn't remember who suggested Oak Plains Academy as an option for Raiden, but they traveled many miles to get her help. She says in the short amount of time she was there, Raiden got into a fight with another girl and cut herself. I tried to get a hold of her um, on the Sunday before she died to talk to her, to be like, what's going on, Raiden? She never got that phone call from her. The next call she got was from a nurse telling Margaret her daughter is on the way to the hospital. She says family was hopeful she would pull through. Then the doctor called her. Saying that her body's failing. And I tried to go see her so I could be with her one last time. And I didn't make it. <laughs> Margaret says Oak Plains Academy staff was supposed to be watching her 24 seven. She now wants to know how could this happen and thinks Oak Plains Academy needs to be held responsible. And the people all involved, the doctors, uh, the therapists, you know, this somehow maybe be on their record, you know, forever. And, you know, so people know, oh, you were a therapist at this facility where, you know, um, maybe you weren't doing the job you should have done. Now, Margaret says a detective looking to her daughter's death has been in contact with her. The Montgomery County Sheriff's Office just executed a search warrant on the property yesterday. And I did speak with the CEO of Oak Plains earlier this afternoon. He offered condolences to the family involved, but said they wouldn't comment further since it's a pending investigation. But again, first time we've actually heard from him. Exactly. The first we're going to post that statement, the full statement, for you on newschannel5.com. Aaron, thanks. Yeah.